Hope you're all still awake. Late night, Mega here. And we already know what Prince... No, we don't know what it is. We haven't seen the a post-commentary Late Night Mega here. I don't remember where exactly we're at, <laughs> where we're at here. There's so many times that we end up visiting the Sultan's Palace. I think we have to just see the, uh, yeah, go to the throne room and we're, we're gonna... Prince is asking for the ring. Wow. Yeah, that's the point we're at. Truly, I am humbled. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Sure. We'll go with that. Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the oh, next no. pledge to heart. Thank you, Father. <laughs> The truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. Your Majesty! The beast has returned! It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer! I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait. Oh no. My boy. We know where this is going. Are speaking to us. Capturing the slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? But Father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. Um, you are trembling I, with excitement. I don't <laughs> think he's trembling with excitement. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. You're kind of dense, Capture aren't the you? Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I, I, oh, very, very well, Father. <laughs> Yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. <laughs> and by preparations, he means you know where this is going. He's gonna have us do, deal with the problem. Pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Yeah, gee, I wonder what we're going to discuss. Uh, this is kind of predictable, what's going to happen here. Uh, you're, you're not going to tell us. You're not going to give us a comment. Can I have the rainbow? Okay. Well, we'll go see our cowardly prince friend. Fortunately, we know we know where his room is. Oh, 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 oh please, please, I beg of you, the slave. Well, you're not wasting any time groveling, are you? Limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. <laughs> Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? If no! he could, no, why would he be coming to us? Impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you haven't changed. Oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. How could it not be your fault? You just I said that you neglected your training. My parents or my you did? People, so you I, did. I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. 
how have you managed to pull that off for so long? Them, the more their expectations grew, and now finally they expect the impossible. Ow, 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 it's so unfair. And what do you think they're going to expect Don't after beating the Slayer of the Sands? If to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your own friend? <laughs> uh, I want the experience. Well, say, I mean, I could say no, but y you know the game's gonna force us to do this, so just. Thank you! Ten thousand thank yous! <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. Uh-huh, uh-huh. We must make preparations to depart immediately! Of course, because getting the rainbow the couldn't gates. be as easy as just winning a horse race. What a pathetic excuse for a prince! Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. Mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. But then when you go around and fraudulently deliver on those expectations and trick everybody into thinking that you have met those expectations when you haven't, you're just making it worse for yourself. It's just another lesson in, in be yourself. Cats. Cats. That's what I can blame my allergies. You might have heard me uh, sounding, you know, not so great the past couple of videos. That's because I've been I've been dealing with some uh, allergies issues here. A little bit better at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to blame that on cats. I am actually allergic to cats, but no, that that's not actually the cause of my allergies this time. Do I have anything better to talk about right now? Um, I did start a list of places where there's locked doors. Oh, yeah, that door is locked, but then there's... I still want to figure out how to get into there. Oh, this is the part where I do that. Okay. Um, she has a Puff Puff gift for us. Again with this Puff Puff stuff... We got an accolade. Well, we, she let us in here. But that was locked from the other side, so how did she unlock it? Whatever. We can't go through that door. Okay, nothing else over here. Yep, just, just us. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's nothing up here for me to take. Okay. Turn off the light. Fine, we'll go with it. Her, her, um, your father, the, the father does the puff puff, what? Um, I don't want to know what just happened. Let's, let's, let's just get out of here. You can, you can. yeah, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, it was magical. That's one word for it. You. Uh, th th let's go. We have we have a prince to rescue. Oh, hey, there he is.
Okay, so we're gonna meet your guys outside. I mean no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. Yeah, we do not journey into the prince. jaws of danger alone. Ha! Ah, impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis! For Galopolis. <laughs> I love their reaction. <laughs> yeah! And we know Ferris is only enthusiastic because we're backing him up. Room for a little one? But these other guys, oh, they, they, don't, they beast, don't know. They, they don't know us. Uh -huh. Again, the prince hasn't really seen us in combat either. Um. Huh? Hi there. <laughs> There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Ah, uh, this is gonna be a uh, dude. Why did this game, why does this game give us so many options on, when darling. we don't actually have to... Don't call me darling. Ow. And don't ever do that again. <laughs> that is one thing that kind of annoys me is when games give you an option of yes or no but yet you have to select one answer or it doesn't matter what answer you select the game is going to continue regardless I, I mean if there isn't really a choice then don't give us a choice it, it just it annoys me I mean, it's not something that I... It's not like, oh, that that's the reason that Dragon Quest, you know, isn't among my favorite of games, but uh, it's, it's just a minor annoyance. Uh, we have new enemies to deal with. Cactiballs. Okay, they don't look too tough, so let's... Or do you have to make that sound? Can Veronica have a turn? That's... That's like a very painful hug. You're not Veronica, either. Oh, Veronica's gonna go Super Saiyan. Very well. Uh, we will Sizz them. Sizz and Deceased. It's, okay, Cact Ball's done. I'm I'm done trying to make silly jokes, at least for the moment. We'll see how that patched up. I may as well heal up, heal up Eric because uh, I know I said I normally don't like doing that in battle, but her MP was full and we were gonna have to do it anyways. I asked you to stop making those sounds. Okay, let's let's go. There's more. We haven't actually explored this uh, area yet. Okay, so the cactiballs are hiding in. Well, they're hiding by pretending they're not active, and then they surprise us. That's going to be a thing, isn't it? Okay, we'll just have to get used to it. Another pattern I'm noticing with this game is that it gives us our next character as a guest party member acting on their own for a little bit before they finally join our team. 
Yeah, by the way, Silvando's joining our team permanently at some point. I mean, like I said, it's a pattern. It has happened with Eric, it has happened with Veronica, it has happened with Serena, and now it's happening with Silvando. I mean, I guess, it, I guess I'm okay with this style of gradually introducing party members to our party. I mean, it makes a little bit more sense from a logic, more logical standpoint. That okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna join you because I need your assistance, and or I want to go with you and make sure the prince is gonna be okay, and I know you're following him, so I'm just gonna tag along with you. That makes sense, and then decide later on to join us permanently, rather than, hey, you're going to go protect the prince, let me join your party permanently, even though you're just on this one-time mission. Uh, we have, we have things we can make. A wizard staff. I should make this. Boost Veronica's, uh, magical might. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We have the materials, why not? Yeah, this is this is the part where I'm actually going to get to look at all of the um, the new recipes we got from that witch's whatever. Uh, I am feeling very uncertain about that middle section. So I'm going to do a couple light bashes. Hey, we got that one to a perfect spot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, whoa, almost uh, ended up hitting the wrong spot there. And... Eh, okay, we went over a little bit, but that's okay. Finish this. Who knows, maybe we'll get like a plus two or plus three out of this. I don't remember which one this ends up being. Perfection! It's plus, plus three. Awesome! Alright, what else did we get that we can... Shields? No. Uh, tricky Turban. Well, it's only a couple points better than what Veronica has right now, so... Ooh, yeah, that. I want that instead. Let me just check. Okay. Um... What about accessories? Do we have new... We have gloves. Ooh, another boost to Magical Might. I don't need Magical Might for Serena, but I definitely want to get one of these gloves for Veronica. And we have plenty of materials for this, so let's go ahead and forge gloves. I know I said I wasn't, you know, big into this crafting stuff. Like I said, I would rather just, you know, find the treasures and have the game just give me the items rather than, you know, this. But I'm going to use it when it becomes, well, when it becomes available to use stuff. And, uh, you know, we have some extra. Let's do some lightning bashes. See if we can get this a little bit better. Uh, uh, we, I think we passed it. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just stop there. We're fine. And that's a plus two pair of gloves. Okay, let's make some... Let, let's make the uh, blouse. Yeah, Fizzle Retardant Blouse. I believe Fizzle is the one that would be, like, Silence. Oh, that was convenient. Also convenient. Also convenient. Also convenient. Oh gosh, I'm gonna start doing Lightning Bashes here. Just because I don't want to overdo anything. Okay, well, this should end up being a pretty decent dress here.
Oh, another perfection. So this is going to be like plus three. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. Uh, and let's make the... Yeah, let's make the lamp post for... Serena. Oh boy. This is going to take uh, quite a few of these here. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll go one more. Okay, we're done. Lamp post plus one. Okay. Uh, so I think that's all the forging. Yeah, that's all the forging we're gonna do for now. Let's equip our new stuff. So we have the wizard staff. Yeah, Veronica's about to have an absurd amount of magical might. Well, I say it's absurd amount, but realistically, it's going to make her like scissors and magic and stuff do like 35 to 39 damage on average, which is pretty dang good. Especially if we're going to compare it with uh, Jace's um, magical spell slinging attacks. And yeah, l look at that. 122. And your defense goes down a little bit. Which one takes defense down less? Getting rid of the... Yeah, getting rid of the gold ring. That's the way we're going to go. Alright, what would you like to do here, Serena? We have the... Oh, we have the new wand for you. There we go. Boost to magical lending. Very nice. I mean, I could probably forge her another shield, but it'd only be, like, a couple points better than what she's got right now, so I'm not super concerned about that. And, yeah, we're gonna go gold ring for her. Alright, with that, I don't remember the last time I saved it. Yeah, it was probably uh, before the whole horse racing thing and all that. So, we'll drop a save. Because it sounds like we have a boss coming up. And let's rest up. Because there's no reason not to. We're here, right? We're here and it's free. You know, free resting at campsites reminds me of Breath of Fire 3. Because Breath of Fire 3 had that, and I guess by extension 4 had that option as well. Alright, we have to go uh, not that direction. We have to go uh, up this way. Oh, there's a sign. Oh. I just wanted to read the sign. <gasps> a metal slime. Okay. Didn't think we'd be getting a metal slime. Okay. Uh, metal slime. They're about as weak as normal slimes. Except they have a several very significant changes. Number one, they have super high evasion. So it is very difficult to hit them. Uh, number two, they have a super high... Well, they have super high defense. So when we do hit them, we're, we're only going to do one damage. They have super low HP. By super low HP, I mean they have like two to three. Um, and they're also immune to spells, offensive spells, so don't bother trying to use those. I'm just going to focus fire on this thing and just hope it doesn't run away. 
someone please hit that thing before it runs away. Uh, so why I'm so hyped right now is Metal Slimes and... Uh, yeah, the Metal Slimes. There's other various Metal Slimes that have been introduced in Dragon Quest games. There's like Metal... Yes! We got it! Uh, they're, they're known for giving a ton of experience points. So we'll find out just how much at the end. I'm I'm really excited that our first metal slime we run into uh, we actually got to kill. All right, so let's look at this experience, and it's going to be ridiculous. Wins again. Two thousand eighty-five experience. Oh my! Yeah, you guys better be leveling up after that. Nice. Everyone's going to level up. So. That's really cool. Uh, but as I was saying, there's like... Oh, you remember those bubble slimes we found that, that poisoned us in the Mangle Grove? There will be metal versions of those. I'm assuming there's going to be metal versions of those in this game. Uh, there are metal versions of them in other Dragon Quest games. Yeah, and I'm looking like, I need the Metal Slash ability. Metal Slash, it's a, it's a guaranteed hit against the metal monsters. Very good at hitting them because you wanna you wanna get in all the damage you can on them and hope they don't run away because they do have a high chance of running away from the battle. And apparently the metal slimes have only three HP, so the metal bubble slimes might have like four or five HP. There's other metal monsters that have been introduced uh, throughout the Dragon Quest series, so. There might be, like, Metal King Slimes. I know that was a thing in, uh, in, like, Dragon Quest IX and whatnot. So, okay, we, uh, we are officially in the area we need to be in, and we'll travel through here next time.